Hello all, this is Gleeful Grognard and I'm playing Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Uh, the demo version. I have got, well, we'll have the game pre-ordered. I am a very big fan of the original. I never actually got to finish it, sadly, because it's on the PS3 and I, I never actually get around to playing games on the PS3. Yeah, anyone who knows me knows that. I have got the Ultimate Edition on Steam, um, and I'm actually going to finish it on Steam, but I love the game, I know the storyline because I'm a horrible person, I looked on YouTube, but I still intend to play it through again and get right to the end, so I'll probably record that and put it up. Anyway, let's see how it goes here, I apologise for any problems that I have with my controller skills because I don't use a controller very often and I figured that I should be for this game. I'm using a PS4 controller with uh, the Xbox controller emulator because why not? It's the only way to get it working on this game and it's the most comfortable controller I have. Anyway, here we go. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 demo. It's been a while since I've seen one of these configuration screens. I also think the game is running at 720p, so I'm going to have to change that once I actually get into the game. If it gives me an option screen. Yes, you're fabulous, Another Gabriel. Another futile attempt by the Brotherhood. My castle is under siege. That, no, it's not an apple, it's a candle. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks better than the Ultimate Edition port did. Um, they, I think it's probably going to suffer the same problem. All cutscenes are going to be in 720p and really pixelated. Not, not that that's the biggest problem with any game, but I like the immersion and I like consistency hmm your chest is mighty veiny there you look like Lucifer did at the end of the last game I said last game I mean the last Lord of Shadows not Mirror of Fate it's another game awaiting to be ported it actually looks terrible but I'll play it for the storyline <laughs> Plus, watching the Toy Maker trailer um, showed me that it does, in fact, use a bit of the storyline. Why would he jump at this point? Or do I just walk forward? No, I, I actually have to push them. Now wiggle my camera all around. This is a fun game. Hey, this is the fun part. What would possess you to have a battle call against Dracula? It's like, ah, be afraid of me. Steady, lads. <laughs> Why would any of these people think they could kill me? We can take it. No, you can't. Faceless God, mooks die. Us. What a timely coincidence. I'm dying for a little drop of blood. Oh, God. Become a vampire. Become really melodramatic and cheesy. Okay. I'm gonna have to change that. RX. <laughs> Using a PS4 controller. Pushing jump repeatedly. Ow. Scratchy nose. Why? What? What's happening? Why was I doing that? 
Move away. He's lying. There we go. Awesome. Press and hold left trigger, then move left stick to dodge. Yep, I got that. Wait! What the hell? I dodged! Move away! He's lying! Okay, I dodged that time. Come at me, mooks. Waiting for you. Once again, my um, controlling skills are really bad. <laughs> dodged that without even knowing I was meant to dodge it. Ow. Oh. Certainly a mechanic that wasn't in the first game. I love that the quick time moment there didn't seem to use any button. I could just push anything and it would have worked. It's a big problem with computer games that use quick time events. They seem to like putting you all over the place. Ah! Damn you! Ow! Probably have sucked his blood. Really underrated game series though. Really like the combat. Don't think it's like um, God of War at all. Ooh, nice play. Uh, well, maybe not. I'm sure I saw this in the trailers. Come on then. Oh, that's kind of cool. My dodge. Yep. There we go. Now can I get out away from the sword? Shield one! This is the bet we get some sort of weapon to negate shields. Why would you bang your sword against your shield? What's the point? I understand the intimidation thing. I'm Dracula. It's not going to work. Die, devil. Bang. I'm also guessing because of the whole um, press B to feed thing. It's going to really punish people who just button mash. I mean, I was fairly good at the first game, but yeah, I I've lost all of those skills. Oh, there I go. Destroyed my. I do like these weapons. Why am I still... I'm just constantly in the dodge mode. Okay. Come here! Yes, I got that. There we go. Damn. Bad. Uh, so what do I think of the game so far? Loving the combat, not loving having to move my camera all the time. The dodging mechanic doesn't feel like it works. 
it's not. I was like, great, I don't actually have to push a quick time event to do this. I hate games that make you tap for things. Anyone else play Duke Nukem Forever? Horrible game that made you actually repeatedly tap a button on the keyboard over and over and over again to open every door in the starting area. Nothing went well with that game. Nothing at all. Anyway, voice acting in this game, really good at the moment. Loving the visuals, loving the props. Um, oh shit. Not loving falling to my death. That. What the? That's what I'm guessing. It. Quick time event. Not sure why I had to wait to jump there. What benefit there was at waiting to jump, but uh, I did it, so. So I would rather that the bats didn't show me the way. Highlight path. If we've got a highlight path, we don't need bats showing me the way. Go through the curtains, out in the daylight! Okay, moonlight. Moonlight should not be that bright. Love the idea that just like, all of these people are just fighting all my minions. Like the little Medusa heads, the flea men, everything. And they're all just going, screw you Dracula, why do you have such annoying enemies? What is a man? But a visual pile of secrets. Does that even make sense, Belmont? Let's start calling him Gabba. Gabriel Belmont. Gabba Belly. Gabba Belly! Where did that guy even come from? I, yeah. God is with me, monster. You look like something from Warhammer 40,000. That will be your ruin. And I agree, it will be its ruin. Your soul is disgusting. Monster, you don't belong in this world. There we go. Slash you because I slash her. Slash, slash, slash time. And I guess I have to do what? Slashy, 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 slashy. You don't belong in this world. Ow. That that was gonna happen. You're going to die. Okay. <laughs> oh no! The Warhammer 40,000 guy left, and now I've got to fight a titan! He's pointing standing on there anyway. Cool set piece. I think this would have been better without the slow mo, because I mean, we already know he's Dracula and he's super powered. It'd be more powerful just to see him leap over there casually. Jump! 
fighting these guys. The only problem with sort of taking multiple hits to do this is that it's meaning that I'm actually expecting the kind of events. I don't like the kind of events, that's a bad thing. I quite like how they used the, uh, got us using the rivets as a climbing platform. That works really you well. Shall not pass. Yes, Gandalf. They're very much intended to pass. Okay. Ow. We could have probably avoided that. I think since you showed us it happening once, you don't actually have to zoom on the other two. Personally. Yep. There we go. We're gonna go to the center. Oh, that looks fun. That's not. I'm not gonna die repeatedly there or anything. I apologize for this in advance. I can see it it's not working very well. Get on the right one. Gabriel. Go Gabba! Go go go! <laughs> Fasten the entire bunch of thingy. that one to be hit. Back to the blood whip. The handy hands. Ow. There we go. Come here. Use the blood sucking button to remove the panel. Wait for me to complete the event. There we go. Come on, get up. No. Get no. Ah. Please don't just up. Oh, thank God. I love that the game actually has it, but I'm not very good at these sorts of games. Come on, get down. Go in there. That's kind of cool. So you don't actually have to go on all of them, you can jump between them. So that adds a certain element of platforming that's not in a lot of these games anymore. Yep. <laughs> Keep 
My fiery fists of fury! Yeah. Damn it! There we go. Love the music. Come on. Beat the crap out of you and take your health. There we go. Fine. I think the void sword actually does more. Like for healing on it. There we go. More healing for me. Yes, I know. And I'll get there. I just wanted more healing. There we go. There we go. Haha. <laughs> kinda wish that I had uh, more of that initial animation that they showed. Where he sort of um, dragged the guy from behind. That was kind of cool. Punch it! Punch it hard. <laughs> you at it? Okay, vomit blood at the machine, because that's sure to destroy it. My name is Dracula. I vomit blood. <laughs> See, this is probably the first game I've ever played where I've defeated something by vomiting on it. Blood or not. <laughs> they fell the wrong way! Why would they fall up? Gravity doesn't work that Okay, now we're falling back. But hopefully in the wrong direction. Still. Where are my minions? How many of these guys are there? <laughs> Why are you... Hey, most pointless death scene ever. I tried to climb up a wheel. Cheer oh, okay. <laughs> Why are they cheering at me destroying their giant thing? I'll defeat you, Warhammer Man. Come on. No. No. Well, um, I'm guessing that this is the end of the demo. My thoughts. Well, I knew already that I was going to enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's not really a negative, but I did kind of feel that the dodging wasn't as tight as it could have been. I, I feel that there were too many ways to dodge, so they dodged by accident while trying to adjust my camera. Um, other than that, it was really good really enjoyed it. The combat felt tight, it felt like it would actually be possibly a little bit difficult once the game got going, uh, which is something I enjoyed about the original um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I, I felt that unlike all the sort of God of War type games, it didn't encourage mindless button mashing. It actually sort of required a little bit of tactical positioning skill from the player, more so. 
Yes, it's February now. I know. I'm well aware. Thank you for bringing it out on PC. Uh, anyway, um, well, just, yeah, really good game. I suggest jumping on Steam, trying it out yourself, even if you haven't played the original. Um, that's it. See ya.